first write the code to sum up all the leaves in a tree. So we're going to write a function called sum tree. And we'll take a tree as its parameter. Actually, let me step let me step aside for a moment before we do that. Do you guys remember the recursive Fibonacci? It had this double recursion. Right, that you let me let me redraw Fibonacci because it's going to have a similarity to trees that is worth noting. off is it better? Remember Fibonacci. We had a, a con. There were two base cases, right? If n was zero, we said it was zero. If n was 1, we said it was 1. And otherwise, we said that the, uh, the Fibonacci number was the result of adding the Fibonacci of minus n1 and minus n2. You guys remember this? So it's a, a double recursion. That's going to be the, um, the way of thinking about trees, that when we work on a tree, we're going we're gonna, to um, recurse on both the car and the cutter. Um, and that, that will allow us to walk our way all the way down the tree. So back to the sum tree idea. So let's start off by just defining the base case. So remember, we're going to add, this is gonna, we're going to add all the leaves. So then that will help us know what the base case is. So first, um, what if the tree is null? In other words, we've, we want the sum of an empty tree, empty list. What's the sum of that going to be? Zero. Yeah, no, not null, but zero. Because it, it, yeah. That, that's like adding a list of numbers. What's the, the sum of an empty list? Zero, it's the base case. Um, the next thing we want to think about is what if we've recursed our way all the way down and we've just got a number? What do we do with that number? What's the sum of a, of a number? So it's the number itself. So here's the way we're, so we, we could write it as like this number question mark. So even though the parameter is tree, at this point we might have recursed our way down and we're just dealing with a number. We could say is it a number and in in which case, then we're just going to produce the number back. The sum of a number is that number. Um, but I'm going to do it a more general way, because we won't always be dealing with numbers. We might have other objects in our tree. So instead of that, what we're going to say is it, is it not a pair? Meaning, so pair says, is it a con cell? So either we're still in the midst of a tree, or, or we've worked our way down to the end. So if it's not a pair, then it's an element, which in this case we know is a number. And so the sum of that number is the number itself. So for numeric trees, those two things will behave the same way. But we're going to use the more general one. We might have trees of symbols or some other object. Otherwise, we're, we're looking at, we, we know at, if we make it this far, we're looking at a con cell. And so what we're going to do is, well, I don't know, but I know that whatever, whatever the state of the structure is below me, the sum of this con cell is going to be this adding together, recursing on the car and recursing on the cutter. And eventually those recursions will lead them way down to base cases, which we've just covered. So our else is we're going to add the result of calling ourselves on our car. Again, we know that we're dealing with a, a con cell at this point. So we know it has a car, and we know it has a cutter. OK, that's it. Um, Should we do 
Should we do substitution model on this? I feel like we should. No? Okay, all right, fine, we won't. All right, well, so then you have to, you have to like, believe it, that this will work. Um, what will happen, though, is eventually, so some tree will, like, let's just think about it a little bit before we move on. If here's the, let me zoom out. If here's the tree that we want to, to sum. Actually, let's give a simpler tree. Let's do a simpler tree that's not going to drive ourselves crazy. Let's say we were going to do some tree on the list, one, and then in parens, two, three. So when we first go in and call ourselves trees, that whole list. So it's not null, it's not a pair. I mean, it's not not a pair. It is a pair. Pa pair tree says true, so not of that is false. So it's not a number. It's, it's a pair. So we hit the else case. So we're going to recurse. We're going to add the result of calling some tree on just the number one. And then we're going to also, that's the car, and then we're going to recurse on this list as the cutter. So if we look at the, the first recursion, it's going to call some tree with a one. That one will say, oh yeah, that's not a pair, it's a number. And so that will return one right away. So this first recursion on the car will immediately say, yes, it's a one. But then we've got this other recursion on the list two, three. That one's going to split into some tree on a two and some tree on the list three. That some tree on two will return right away. The some tree on, um, on list three needs to recurse again because that will unpack into three and empty list. All right, fine.